The test we're performing today is called a MAP test. It stands for Maximal Aerobic Power. It's a ramp test. So we're looking at how far beyond their current functional threshold power they can go until their cadence drops or they go until failure. Are they getting to 120% and suddenly dead spot score is off the map? Is that because of bike fit? Is it because of neuromuscular power? Is it because of form? Those are the types of things we're looking for. We use a Leomo Type R, taking a look at the motion capture data in relation to how their body is fatiguing during the test. If their dead spot score increases as their power increases, it's an indication to us that we may need to work on a little bit more of their high power stability, even core strength. Power is developed by maximum torque and maximum leg speed. Those two variables combined produce maximum power. Together with Leomo and the data we get from the power meter and the cadence sensor, we're able to determine what area of their motion, whether it's their ankling or pelvic angle, dead spot score is different. We can compare that Leomo data and pick out any kind of outliers and what we may need to work on.